Well, Ollie knows. Did you say too. glitch? Is that right? That's wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Stephen. Welcome to Club Footy. This is Ollie alongside me. How are you doing, man? You okay? Very well, very well. How are you? I'm very good. Episode five of Club Footy. And today we've got a bit of a treat for you. Ollie's going to run through all the big stories from the World Cup in regarding to the boots. He's been paying attention. He's been fueled by his monster, eagle eyed, awake 24 7, watching the World Cup, watching all the games. And he's going to talk through all the interesting stories about the boots at the World Cup. Before we go too far, though, I want to say this is the last chance you get to enter to win this beautiful Euro. Uruguay shirt. You too could be Luis Suarez taking bites out of opponents on pitches. You could do that. All you've got to do to enter is subscribe and like this video. And because as well, we've got about 20 shirts in the office taking up loads of space. Every single time a team goes out, you could basically win a shirt. So get liking these videos, get subscribing because we've got like a Spain shirt that Lifestyle Supports very kindly uh, mm, supplied to top, us. Beautiful top, beautiful top. Gorgeous, I'm isn't it? Big fan of this. It's well, your favourite, but I just yeah, quickly, he's, he's owned quickly it put me. it on today because I felt like David Silva's going to have a fantastic game tonight. So it's I lovely, thought, isn't it? Boom, yeah. Uh, and also, what else have we got? We've got Portugal, we've got France, we've got uh, Brazil, Belgium, Mexico. We've got a whole All host sorts. of shirts to give away. So basically, keep a very keen eye on the future episodes. Obviously, as well, Morocco became the first team to crash out. It's just happened as we're recording this. They lost 1-0 to Cristiano Ronaldo and the rest of the Portugal team, of course. That's four goals in two games now for Cristiano. He's absolutely on fire. A man on a mission to take on the Golden Boot Award in this competition. And also, as well, it was heartbreak for Mo Salah as Egypt got spanked by Russia. Russia actually looking genuinely decent. They are a threat at this World Cup. You spotted something about Salah's boots, didn't you? Yeah, so the X18 Plus in the background that we've got there, Adidas customised it for him with some 100 million typography logo on top of the boot where the laces should be um, to represent the 100 million Egyptian fans. 100 million broken that, hearts. That he let down at the World Cup. Yeah. Poor guy, but I'm yeah. sure uh, he'll be back stronger next season. But let's get actually onto the topic of this video. I'm going to start with number five, and it's Pepe. What is going on with Pepe at this World Cup? So, obviously, we've just seen Portugal get the 1 0 win, and Pepe was wearing something extremely interesting and a boot that I noticed on the week. Well, it was Friday, wasn't it? The game against Spain. Yep. He was wearing a black and red Medusa Pro, and I'm a big black boot fan. And when I saw them, I had to phone up my boy at Umbro, and I was like, bro, I need <laughs> I need these boots. I need to test them out. They look sick. That definitely happened as well, by the way. But, but they're not available for purchase. Well, anywhere at all? Nowhere at all. They've literally just been made for Pepe at this World so Cup So they're a Pepe special? A Pepe so special. So solid, reliable, and likely to go down far too easily, basically. Well, you could say <laughs> that, but my friend also mentioned that a few of the other Umbro athletes at the World Cup will also have um, some custom colorways that they'll be wearing in their games. But oh, I guess, guess we could maybe do part two of this. Um, to cover those guys. And the next one on the list is Romelu Lukaku. He's been spotting wearing just about everything. Apparently, as of recently, he was a free agent. He's been wearing Nike, Adidas and Puma, but I think he's settled on something now. Is that right? Yes, yeah, so Romelu Lukaku has literally just signed with Puma Football. They announced it the other day on social media as part of their New Levels campaign. He was wearing the Puma 1 18.1 in which he scored two goals in and it's part of the Illuminate pack which is set out to illuminate the pitch. It's working, definitely working. It worked in that game but we'll see. He's been in and out of boots all season. I don't know, he might swap silos uh, in the next game into the Puma future. It'd be cool to see that from a player just... As, and changing. as a football boot fan, is that something you actually like seeing? Would you rather associate a big player with a big boot? Would you would you rather them see them mix it up every now and then? Obviously, with the likes of Ronaldo and Messi, who have their signature yeah, boots, yeah. It, it is good to have that relation. I, I guess the brands love it because yeah, of course, yeah. they can sell more products or associate a player with that specific silo. But me personally, as a boot connoisseur, if I was in the player's situation, I would wear a mixture of boots just because I love boots and I love a bit of variety and depending on what kit I'm wearing you've got to make sure that kit combo kit and boot combo is on point. And next on the list is Alexander Golovin, Russia's breakout star of the World Cup so far. He's been absolutely excellent and it looks to me like he's taken this kit uh, boot combo thing to new extremes because he's wearing an old boot pretty much just because it looks gorgeous isn't he? Yeah so he's been wearing the Mercurial Vapor 11s which is 
a fantastic boot, super lightweight, and he's picked the Fire and Ice pack, which was actually released back in 2017. It goes perfectly with his red socks. He's gone for the fire part of the <laughs> Fire and Ice pack. Going back to the Lukaku thing, obviously some players get used to boots and he must be one of those yeah, players. Yeah, he must be. He's not switched into the Mercurial Vapor 12s yet, which a few other players haven't done so. And I've actually seen a player in the Portugal game before playing for Morocco wearing the same boot. So obviously it's not just him representing I for... I think they're pairing up as well at the moment. I mean. Should we give him away? It's not the Fire and Ice pack, but... Phil! Yeah, actually... Phil, chuck us, chuck us the vapes, come on. <laughs> Should we give them away? What's well, that? Like competition now. UK 8. UK, UK 8. 8. This is basically, that, I'm a 9, I think they fit me as well. So. These uh, are beautiful. They are gorgeous. Basically, yeah, we'll give them away. Basically, if you want to win these boots right now. So um, right. Feel them. Just, just, just feel them. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Like uh, the video, subscribe and comment with your name and you can win these Alexander Golovin. Not worn boots, but you know, he wears them and he's doing he wears incredibly well so far. Yeah, just, I need to touch them again, they're just so nice, man. It's got anato anatomical soul plate, as you can see there, just beautiful, so yeah. Yeah, basically, you could win them Drop just like comment. that. They're a lot closer to home, Manchester City's David Silva. I think he's switched up what he's wearing at this World Cup, he's wearing the Predators, is that correct? Yes, yeah, so David Silva's previously been wearing the X, which he wore throughout last season's Premier League campaign and so on but he's switched to the Predator. Obviously, we've got the new X, which is sat right behind us, um, and we've mentioned it a few times already. I personally think it's a fantastic boot. You know when it came in, I was yeah. buzzing. I tried it on, it literally fits <laughs> like a glove. Um, but maybe it's not for David Silver, which is why he switched to the Predator 18.1. Is there anything technically in that in terms of why you would go from the 18.1 uh, to the Predator? Is there anything in terms of the suit his style of play? Well, he... When he was wearing the X last season, he was wearing the 17.1, which is basically the X with laces. They've yeah. got the 17 plus, which is, I don't, I don't know, maybe he's just not a fan of the laceless thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a quiet taste, I guess, isn't it? It does feel different. Yeah, it feels different. And obviously players want to customize their lockdown with the tightness of how they're lacing up boots. But yeah, I think the Predators look sick in that all white kit against Portugal. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing him in this tonight, which I think they'll be wearing. And finally, everyone's favorite shithouse and pantomime villain, Diego Costa. Uh, he's been wearing something very interesting, Ollie. Fill us in. Yes, another player that's not switched to the X18 Plus. He's been wearing the X17 Plus in a deadly strike colorway. He's actually cut the laces off. Maybe he's just trying to like halfway get to the 18 plus <laughs> I, don't, I don't know but he doesn't want interesting to he, sc he scored two goals in them yeah yeah so obviously you can't really complain why about do you that. think some people aren't actually just taking the leap to the next one yet I, some like i said people just it's lack comfort isn't it yeah, yeah. The, when you get used to something superstitions kick in if you play well in a game you'll wear the same boots again i guess as well it's a big change isn't it to lace all of a sudden that is a it's like a, a hell of a change yeah obviously when brands swap or upgrade a silo there is changes otherwise there'd be no point in buying yeah of course it. yeah um but players have to get used to boots and even just breaking boots in do you feel different to playing laceless and kind of lace boots in general? Yeah, obviously with laces you can really, some people like to wear the boots loose and not tie the laces mm. and just tuck them in. Some people like to get a really nice tight lockdown. Um, like I said before, the X18 Plus, when I put it on, the fit was just beautiful, but you don't know, like after five to 10 games, that might loosen up, the upper might yeah. soften a little bit, so yeah. I don't know why, but Diego Costa strikes me the kind of guy who'll have uh, laces forever. I think it's because he's quite old school in his style, and you just don't associate an old school striker wearing laceless boots. And maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe next season he'll score about 30 in a pair of laceless boots. But guys, that is the end of our rundown of the, the World Cup boot moments so far. Let us know in the comments what you've noticed, what players have been wearing, which boots, what boots you're most excited by. And obviously as well, you could win these boots here again, back on Ollie, uh, break Ollie's heart by taking them away from 40 HQ. And also you could win this shirt. It's just prizes everywhere at prizes the moment. for days, mate. Pretty much for days. As if I tried to say that, it sounded like an absolute muppet. But anyway, like this video, subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow. This is Ollie. Welcome to Club Forty, Episode Five of Club Forty. I'm not going to ask Ollie how he. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the reason you're actually here is for Club Forty. Is <laughs> mate, we could just do a blooper with that. <laughs> you're so good not to laugh.